Typical clinical trials at the Pons Institute are very extensive affairs, so um, there's a whole range of parallel processes that go on at once. On the one hand, you've got the clinical, you've got to try and set it up. That means you've got to find just the right consumers, the consumers who have the problem that you're trying to solve or have the need that you're trying to meet. So we put a lot into recruitment to find the right consumers. Then there's a whole piece around making sure that we uh, are selecting uh, people for the right time of year, uh, that they're the right users of certain kinds of products, so that we can be certain that what we're actually going to detect uh, with our technologies, we hope, um, is due to the technology and not due to some other variable which, uh, which we'd overlooked. So there's all the piece about how you set up the clinical trial. And then we will run a clinical trial for possibly um, up to two months, three months, depending on the technology, because skin takes that long to regenerate. And so you, you won't expect a, a biological effect, for instance, to be happening very quickly. It can take longer sometimes uh, for those to present. And we want to make sure we catch everything that uh, is going on. So that's the clinical itself. Um, also, we've got to make sure that what we're putting into the clinical uh, is something which is safe. Uh, and something which we believe is going to work. Nothing ever gets near a clinical uh, unless it's uh, fully safety cleared by our earlier laboratory work and uh, uh, our um, environmental assessment work. Um, but from the point of view of mode of action, uh, we will do a great deal of work in the run up to the clinical, always busy times, to make sure that the formulation that we, we take the ingredients and, and put together is going to be the best possible formulation that we can put into that clinical so that we can uh, make it worth everybody's while. So finally, at the end of all that process, we wait with bated breath for what the clinical results are going to come out as. It's, it's all double-blinded, that's standard protocol, so we don't know what is going to win. Um, and uh, the codes are broken, uh, and then we see uh, how well our technology, our candidate technology, has performed against the control, against our current market products, against competitor products, and so on. Um, and of course, the ideal outcome from that process, and certainly the outcome which any consumer sees, is that uh, it wins uh, and we can go uh, excitedly to market and tell a great story about uh, how great our technology actually is.